I be so sick of your niggas, y'all contradicting me I be so bold myself, can you come and fuck me? I feel so ordinary, said when you around me Treat me like order, why you wear me out? Why oh, you miss you? Tear me out hey loves welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing some chrome nails so i'm starting off by using classic nude by valentino their products are just super buttery and they give you time to work with each bead that's why i truly recommend this brand for beginners because you have time to mold your acrylic with each bead and as you guys can see i am practicing a little bit more on my one bead methods especially for shorter nails i do end up doing two but um i am practicing a little bit more with the one bead method and the brush i'm using is a size 12. when i was in school they did give us these brushes i do have two i use one for my pedicures acrylic toes and then i have another one for the actual acrylic nails just to keep them separate also this is gonna be a lengthy video i know a lot of people have been asking me to do from beginning to end without having to speed up the video but yes for my first bead i did try to do it as close to the cuticle as possible but i'm gonna just add a second bead so this second bead should be a medium to small bead and then i just place it where I had that first bead at and then push it up towards the cuticle. On average, shorter nails plus designs takes me about two hours and 30 minutes. Um, I feel like it used to take me a little bit shorter time, but I think it just depends on the, des the actual design my client wants to get. And you guys can actually see here, when I push it up towards the cuticle, I'm only blending down the bottom of that bead and leaving the top there so it can create that apex it's very important to create an apex with shorter nails because number one you don't want to make a too thick of an apex just because your nails are going to look big and bulky you do not want that with short nails you want it to look more on the natural side so just be um cautious of your dry time with your acrylic bead and just make sure that your beads aren't too wet and aren't too dry and also if you're a beginner i would time your acrylic application um i know when you apply your primer and dehydrator it only lasts about 10 minutes so the faster you are with it the better your retention is going to be a tip to making sure that you're on time before the 10 minutes is up is to add a clear bead only to your nail plate and um, where the tip meets so that it covers before that 10 minutes is up. And if you guys are having trouble with keeping your brush flat, I do have a video uploaded on my YouTube and I'll have that link below for you guys so you guys can see how I keep my brushes flat before my next appointments and clients. If you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now and turn on your post notifications to see when I post. And also my social medias are linked below. My TikTok and Instagram is at Claws by Jada, which is, like I said, linked down below. My Amazon store friends linked down below so you guys can check out products that I recommend for beginners and other, other nail techs that do nails as well. If you guys want to see how I prep for the best retention, three plus weeks i can make a video on just my prep and how i um and how i get that good retention just comment down below if you guys would like to see that video hey y'all i've been getting a lot of questions on how i get a good amount of clientele and i'm gonna explain that in this video as well so basically when i first started doing nails i wasn't home based i was a travel nail tech so i was traveling to clients um the reason why i had um a little bit of amount of clients at first was because i was promoting myself on instagram i was posting nails i did that <laughs> looked it crazy but you know content is content and if you need to promote yourself at, as a beginner state whoever supports you is going to support you and i just feel like posting as a beginner nail tech 
creates a good portfolio for you because obviously you're going to get better but you just have to stay consistent with yourself and not give up if at first you don't have no type of clients like just keep going practice this is what i also did i practiced sets on myself and that's how i actually got better at doing it on other people and also designs practice designs that you you want to do on other people practice them on yourself practice your acrylic application on yourself do the pop off method post those and you could post little videos on instagram little videos on tiktok youtube and i also was posting a little bit on facebook marketplace as well that's how i, I gained a little bit of more of a clientele and also if you do offer press-ons you could post those on facebook marketplace as well and you can really start making some money off of there but also i do want to make a video furthering things that i recommend a beginner nail tech to do to gain clientele but this is just like the basic topics the main 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 thing that i feel like people really don't do is stay consistent and that's really what makes you different from other people and consistency is very hard staying consistent on recording staying consistent on editing your videos and just staying consistent in anything like just stay consistent be determined to do it every day not even for the money just because you want to do it and you'll really see a progress and just remember why you're doing it in the first place that's really one thing that will help you keep going with your business and gaining clientele and making money and don't limit yourself to only posting on one platform like post on everything post on tiktok pinterest um instagram snapchat whatever you have just promote yourself even if you don't have no help like just promote yourself look up youtube videos do what you need to do to put your business out there and those are really the key things that help me gain clientele they are slow days even now i've been doing nails for four years there is gonna be slow days but just keep going don't give up and find new ways to promote your business make business cards flyers i do want to get on the topic of doing deals as well as a beginner nail tech and i'm gonna let you guys know some key things that i feel like you should and should not do when doing discounts and deals so obviously when you first start off and you're trying to work on other people for the first time obviously you're not going to be as good as you think you're going to be only if you don't do nail if you start like when you're really good then you don't have to listen to this part but if you start and you don't really feel like you're that good of a nail tech and you start offering free sets i do not recommend doing free sets because even though you think that you're not as good of a nail tech as you think you are or going to be doing free sets bring people that only come to you because they're free and then once you do end up charging once you get a little bit better those people are not going to book or they're gonna be like not really trying to book as much anymore just because they only came to you because the sets were free so what i would do is recommend doing like 20 dollar full sets any sizes so at least you're making money and at least like you're letting people know like okay i'm gonna be charging this is a business and i am spending my own money to buy these products and i feel like a lot of people have a lot to say about family getting free sets i feel like you should allow your family to have free sets um i don't see a problem with that because um i feel like family isn't gonna just come to you because they're free like obviously if you start charging they they most likely will um start paying unless um you just offer free sets for them every time and then once you get a little better you can start offering a free set deal i would say like oh if you share this post one lucky person on this date will receive a free set you can do stuff like that but when you first start off i do not recommend doing free sets for everyone because like i said they're only going to come to you because the sets are free they're not going to come to you 
later unless that person is a really good friend or if that person is a really good person which most likely (laughs) does not happen a lot um yeah they will only come to you because the sets are free but getting back into this video i am drawing like a little design i didn't add any top coat or matte top coat before so i'm just using like the bare acrylic after i filed and buffs i'm using some actually i'm using some rhinestone glue i'm not using um i think it's called like 3d gel i'm not using anything like that i'm using rhinestone glue i do not remember the brand but i did pick this up at my local nail supply and then you just see me carrying it for a little bit just because i don't want that design to move while i'm doing the other fingers and i don't want her to just keep putting her finger in the lamp every time so i'm just like flash carrying it for a little bit just to make it like stay in place and this set was an inspo set it was just basically what i'm doing now with all um gold chrome i don't know how you guys or nail techs feel about chrome but i know i've stated multiple times in some of my videos that chrome is the hardest design for me i feel like i struggle with chrome more than any other design and i promise you i've tried everything like every method um I still can't really find a good method I always seem at first it was like okay the chrome was getting stuck to the base of the finger like it wasn't getting stuck to just the design like and then now I figured out how to not have it get stuck to the base like I have a problem with it fading after a couple days and like I should just buy the chrome pods maybe that might be a little better but I don't know if they sell the chrome pods in every color all right now the last finger is the thumb i was a little bit out of frame with the thumb but i ended up just um editing out those videos or parts of the video okay now moving on to the polish i am adding just some black gel polish to those designs and i'm going to be doing that to every one of her fingers and I'm only going to be curing the black gel polish for 30 seconds so the chrome can stick to it. Apologies for the wait, sometimes it's hard to make the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got you. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations. I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing. The way that you juggle your kids, the bitch, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you take in a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying. Do you hear your mind? a lot going on i hear it in all of your songs niggas been doing you wrong barely been doing you wrong all days you feeling like you on your own i wrote this for you to put on thank you for sharing your light your voice and writing a beautiful poem session 32 bring me to tears be getting choked up when i hear it seem like i keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids and i don't know what it is that made me so sensitive more than i already was but never mind that i'm back i'm sending you this little audio hug and hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above. The more that we hurt, the harder we love. As soon as it's gone, we gotta re up. It's just like a drug. If people knew half of the pressure, they know that it's hard to be her. I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love. Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns. You ever need something from me? Don't hesitate, please. Just hit me and I'll be around. I'm gone. Okay, now I'm adding my gold chrome from Creations. It's actually like little gold flakes but um yeah i'm just adding that to the tacky gel polish and i usually use my finger but today i'm using a little sponge and i'm just making sure to get around the edges and make sure that everything is coated with that gold chrome Twinning up, and we all look 
Christopher. She said she my eye, but I don't know her how to look her up. I know that I'm rich, but I can help it, bitch. I'm hood as fuck. I've been on these bitches next so long, sometimes I fucking stuck. I can put you in my business. You might wish me dead tomorrow. Bitches be on dick today, sing every word of fuck tomorrow. Bitch, I still got kids open. Keep your mouth shut tomorrow. Stay with me today, then get some sip. You know it's up tomorrow. Say, bitch, that's why my friend fucked on your nigga. Both you bitches pussy, I think y'all should scissor. She bought a chain, I'm about to say one even bigger. She doing shots, that's how I know I got a trigger. I don't speak dog ho, I don't care what no bitch say. I stay on her mind, I got condos in that bitch head. She said she don't fuck with me, who say that you can't ho? That nigga munching, he gon' eat me like a mango. Long ass teeth, it be tickling my ass crack. Wonder what I do tomorrow that these hoes will be mad at. Oh, y'all bitches sweet, and I always get my lick boo. For my bitches and I'm fighting over yeah. dick too Can't okay, say your name up in my songs Might not fuck with you tomorrow Can't get my feelings hurt today I won't give a fuck tomorrow Ain't fucked up by no credit score I might be rich as fuck tomorrow Every day the sun won't shine But that's why I love tomorrow Can't say your name up in my songs Might not fuck with you tomorrow Can't get my feelings hurt today I won't give a fuck tomorrow Ain't fucked up by no credit score I might be rich as fuck tomorrow Every day the sun won't shine so now I'm gonna just be trying to take off like the excess chrome that's like flying everywhere and then top coating with the creations top coat. It was getting stuck to the brush, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um yeah, I'm just top coating everything. Just seen them on the town before. I can't be up in her face. I took a nigga down before. When I lose a nigga, I just pop out and go find some more. As soon as I feel like my time get wasted, then it's time to go. They say they don't fuck with me, but I say they can't fuck with me. Just like the girl, I'm everywhere. How you say it's so me? Them bitches should've stayed down. They could've been up with me, but all they doing is talking down. Cause they can't get up so now I'll just go in with my favorite part after the top coat is all cured and I just go in with my file and just straighten up everything and making sure everything is the perfect square shape. And after this step right here, I just added some cuticle oil and it's how they turned out. Super cute. If you guys like these videos, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe for more.